If you've been watching Korean dramas on the regular for the past few years, then you've surely seen Kwok Dong Yeon's face on at least one of them. He made his acting debut in 2012, appeared in the KBS television series My Husband Got a Family. For his performance, he won the Best Young Actor Award at the 2012 Korea Drama Awards. Recently, he stole attention for his appearance in TVN's drama Vincenzo. Check out these 10 things you have to know about Kwok Dong Yeon. People were surprised to learn his actual age. If you have discovered the age of this actor, you won't believe how young he is. He often played older character, so the audience doesn't think that he was born on March 19, 1997. He just earned 24 this year. One of the older characters he played is a 28 years old psychiatrist in 2018's drama Radio Romance, even though he was 21 at the time. He is musically inclined. At 13, he permanently resided in Seoul by himself to pursue his dream to be an artist. He has been studying music at FNC Academy since 2010 and also took acting lessons. He was the former lead guitarist of the Kokoma band. He also does musical theater and his last production was the Korean adaptation of the Broadway comedy musical Something Rotten. In the 2020 staging, he played one of the main characters Nigel Bottom. His Big Break Although he made his acting debut on the 2012 drama My Husband Got A Family which he won an award, it was in 2016 when he finally landed his breakthrough role. Moonlight Drawn by Clouds, aka Love in the Moonlight, is a gender-bending historical drama that starred Park Bo Gom and Kim Yoo Jong. In the drama, Dong Yeon played the skilled swordsman Kim Byung Yeon and his best friends with Crown Prince, played by Park Bo Gom. In a 2019 interview with Singles Magazine, he talked about how Kim Byung Yeon was his favorite role to date. If I had to pick one favorite character, it's Kim Byung Yeon from Moonlight Drawn by Clouds. As we young actors work together, we achieve the greatest synergy possible. People with a positive influence gathered together for the project, so the bright energy still remains from that time. He remains to be close friends with Pak Bo Gom. He and Pak Bo Gom's on-screen bromance on Moonlight Drawn by Clouds actually also happened in real life. In an interview in 2016, he spoke of the first time he and Bo Gum met, and it actually took a while for them to warm up to each other. Pak Bo Gom has a very reserved personality. Becoming close with him was a struggle. Just trying to talk in informal speech took two hours. He also spilled that, although Pak Bo Gom may seem so positive on the outside, he, like everyone else, also gets angry. Now that we're close, we often have deep conversations. He is kind, but when you think about it he's also human. He gets angry too. When he's extremely upset, he expresses his anger by saying, I'm super pissed. Even after the drama wrapped and both being busy actors, the two remained close friends. He said that he and Pak Bo Gom would still find time to hang out and catch up over a cup of coffee. He can flawlessly pull off both good guys and villains. Often actors are so good at one type of role, the funny friend, the scheming Chebhol heir, the handsome male lead, that they get typecast and tend to play similar characters. But some actors are so talented that they can skillfully play totally contrasting roles, which can come as quite a surprise to the viewer. Kwok has proven himself in a variety of dramas, from his role as the dashing swordsman in Moonlight Drawn by Clouds to a dim-witted vice chairman in Vincenzo. He also starred as a graduate student in the 2018 drama My ID is Gangnam Beauty, where he melted viewers' heart with his friendly charm and sweet, well-mannered demeanor. But the actor did a complete 180 in his next drama, My Strange Hero, playing the disturbed and nefarious Oseo. He has a lead role drama. We often see him as a cameo or a minor role in K-dramas, but Kwok had a lead role in MBC's drama Never Twice. His character is the heir of a five-star hotel and also the head of its strategic planning department. This 72 episodes drama aired on November 2, 2019 until March 7, 2020. Variety shows terrify him. Kwok has been making quite a name for himself with his appearances in K-dramas. But his acting skills aren't the only thing that won over the viewers. The actor also has, by absolute accident, endeared himself to the viewers with his earnest and genuine image in variety shows, including Radio Star and Happy Together 3. In an interview, he said that he just appeared on the shows without giving much thought, but somehow his appearance became a hot topic. Despite the public's interest, the actor said that he tries to avoid variety shows because they terrify him. Recounting his experience in Radio Star he explained that he only chose Kim So-young as his ideal type because he was pressed for a name. 
After the episode, rumors about him dating Kim So Young surfaced after the episode aired, which hurt him greatly. His one regret is not taking school seriously. He started his acting career relatively early. Although he got to gain work experience in his teens, this made him neglectful of his studies and making friends at school. On his 2019 debut anniversary of Live, he talked about this being his one regret. I couldn't have a proper school life. I wasn't able to build a strong fellowship and friendship with my peers at school. As soon as a route opened up in front of me for acting, I gave up on my studies. I thought to myself, I'm always going to be acting, so when will I use what I learn in school? I thought I'd never have to use my studies later in life, so I gave up. I slept a lot at school. My main pleasure in going to school was the bread they sold in the cafeteria. Walking is his exercise. Every actor has their own way of exercising to keep their bodies in shape during their busy schedules. In an interview with Singles Magazine, Kwok shared that he enjoys walking as exercise because it holds a different charm from running and because it's one of the few times he can relax without thinking about anything else. He has quite an unusual pet. On Radio Star in 2019, he talked about a certain Daniel whom he considers as his pet. He shared, I really like animals, but I can't have one as a pet right now. When one of the hosts quickly responded that Daniel is an animal, he replied, no, it's not an animal that I'm raising, I'm growing a green onion. His explanation surprising everyone and making the hosts laugh. He continued, everyone laughs about it. But if you try it yourself, you'll change your mind. It grows 3 to 4 centimeters every day. I'll water it in the morning and then when I'm on my way home I wonder how much it will have grown that day. Since it's so fun, sometimes I try to go home early too. He also made the others laugh as he explained how it's grown from white into green, and the show shared a photo of him with his green onion, complete with a nameplate that says Daniel.